ready? Uh, yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> They're just spinning around. They're doing their own thing. It's Buttons Adventures, uh, uh, the pilot. So, it came out in 2013. Uh, it was originally meant to be a series, but Hasbro were like, no, that is our stuff, so you better stop. So, uh, they released a season, yeah, boom. <laughs> they released a season to sit there, so production had to stop. Uh, pilot was made, and it was very successful and funny. And it was made by Jam Animations, and stars Shady Box as Butter Mash. Now, with my mom, my dad, and my brother, I don't have a cutie mark yet, but I don't care much about that. <laughs> Sweetie, do you want any ketchup with you? <laughs> Take that off, that's your father's. But it looks so cool! Button, I said. I'm not Button anymore, Mom. I am. The stash. <laughs> <laughs> No, go to school now. I was young once too, you know. Oh, and by the way, try to believe. Right, so this one is called My Little Toy Freddy Pizza is Magic. Yes, I know. Uh, this family video was released in 2015. It, this MLP parody was based on um, Fortnite and Freddy's by Crazy Boris Productions. Um, it was made by Chapel and has made three other FNAF games, but this one's got the most views. Um, there may be some jump scares. I watched the video. I will turn it down so I don't scare everyone to death. <laughs> <laughs> you fooled them. I've got my eyes on you. Oh, of course, she's got some cider. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Lego Pony Dentist Student. Uh, released in 2016, the video was made by Al Stiff, who has made other MLP Lego videos. This was the first one from them. Um, it has 15 million views on YouTube. Huh. <laughs> 
Big Mac got PTSD. <laughs> Harry Potter reenacted by ponies. <laughs> that. Any guess who that she is portraying? Maybe because the scar on her forehead is her cutie mark. Mm. <laughs> Video was released in 2012, uh, was made by Jacob Kitt, and they made other parodies such as Pokemon, Jurassic Park, and even Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is based on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, they already made this one. You have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Friendship and Magic. You're a wizard, Dashy. Uh, I mean, only if you want to be. <laughs> of course. Do you really have that scar? Oh, damn, that man. You're so nasty, I know. <laughs> You are, my faithful students. The upper free forest is strictly forbidden, and the third floor corridor is out of the way. Suffer a most painful That's not fluffy. I'm gonna pinky fire. Here's the dungeon! Troll in the dungeon! Not you! Um, no! <laughs> hey, she looks more like a princess. 
easier than you. Well, I just finished going to that panel with Lion Pitch, and oh my god, that was awesome! I absolutely enjoyed it. It's really good seeing these videos from like of like G4 animations from like the past, and you see they're really, really good. A lot of them I, I do recognise, some I've seen before, and yeah, I was glad to see them again. But uh, why were the fucking Pony of Wisdom video? Ah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get my prizes from the um, charity auction. All right, so that's now I've just forgot the items. Now I'm gonna go back to the hotel and drop all these off, and we'll be back for the um, closing ceremony. I'm gonna miss out on everything else. I'm just gonna come back for the closing ceremony. It's gonna be an emotional day, emotional night, shall I say? I know, but still it'll be worth it in the end. After I've seen the closing ceremony, I'm gonna get myself a McDonald's and yeah, just chill out and you know start playing these clips and then yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and also I just want to point out that with these items I earned from the auction, I paid a lot of money for these. I mean a lot. Like I had to literally bid on high amounts no matter what. So yeah. Just prepare for that. All right, here are the things I won at the charity auction. I won this Italian copy of My Pony Generation 1 DVD. I don't know what it says, but yeah, I won that. That's from Clearheart. I won this uh, My Pony annual book of 2018, which is a movie exclusive content. I, I forgot who um, owned that. And the same goes for this plushie here with, of um, U-Tunes Fluff, fluff whatever, whatever it's called. But honestly, it looks really, really cool. Now, you guys are wondering how much did I spend on the charity auction because, yeah, as I said, I had to pay a whole lot of money to get these. I spent £460 just for these three items. Literally, that was all my hard-earned money. Gone in one, just for these three items. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Like, that was awesome. And I got so much support after all that as well because, literally, I spent so much money despite the fact I was literally saying to myself, Set up for a computer, set up for a computer because you definitely need a new computer. I decided to literally spend my money towards these three items. So to whoever um, donated these items to the charity auction, I hope you are thankful that I brought these because I never would have done that with other stuff. And yeah, oh yeah, I got these two plushies here as well. I got a um, Grace Smith plushie, spent £250 on that. And I got this um, flutter bat plushie as well, which I spent £80 on as well. Yeah, those two. But all I can say is it's been a great day, I've absolutely enjoyed it and all I can say is it's going to end in tears later because it's, it's all over soon. It's been, honestly it's been amazing, honestly I, I can't believe, I can't even, I can't even fathom how thankful I am, you know, for, the, for the, literally the weekend I've had, 
in Nottingham and UK Pony Con. It's been amazing. Despite the rough start I've had with me getting crammed onto a train because of any old disrupting their trains and shit. Honestly, everything else, you know, changed it. It made the weekend really, really good. I had so much fun, honestly. UK Pony Con is definitely recommended. Even if you're not a brony, it's recommended. Like, it's, it's that good. So, yeah. Here we go. This will be the last time I walk into this con from this year. And then I've got another, another year to come back here again. I'm going to miss this con so much. Honestly, I've absolutely enjoyed it. And the people who I've met here as well were so nice to me as well. I just, I wish I could just stay in this particular area, but you know, it has to come to an end this year. And that is today. So, yep, here we go. This is it. Chaco, Mountain, AJ and Trixie. Go! Trixie's off the line first, AJ. Not too far behind. There's a lot of twists and turns and a lot of bumps. Well, Trixie losing some momentum there, AJ taking over. But Trixie's got some, some red shells. Very well defended first place there from Trixie. That's going to be difficult to get past. Now there is a bit of fog. Oh! Applejack trying to overtake there but gets hit by a red shell. Oh, a muffin from Applejack. Oh, Applejack is just getting bullied here. Go with the slight turn here, slight turn. Careful, there is no guardrail. Oh no, Trixie's fallen down and gone the wrong way. Trixie, you need to turn around. Trixie, oh there we go, you got it. That's gonna lose some time. Hopefully Trixie can make up. But Applejack crosses the line. You have to be careful with these drops. You have to be, oh no, Trixie has fallen down again. Trixie. Trixie attempting the turn for the third time. No! Choco Mountain is a devastating choice here. Maybe Applejack will get caught on the same same point. But I believe we're about to see. It's very close. We might see it. Trixie, oh, has managed to get a handle on it. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, oh no! That's an overtake! Trixie is unfortunately still on lap one. And Applejack has entered lap three with a sassy boost there, if I do say so myself. Oh no! With a falling rock! Trixie no is not happy. having no any luck with Choco Mountain. No I think, oh. No oh, well, you didn't quite crash, you're still in. If you don't reverse off the up, oh, there it is. Yeah. I think this might be a double lap from AJ here. Yeah. Adding in some oh. to injury. Acid Applejack, that is disgraceful. I'm good anyway. That that's that is just mean, honestly. I thought we were building friendship in time this year, but that I swear. And there we have it. Yeah. Yeah. Takes first place. Trixie only just managing to cross the line. So congratulations to our third place and our fourth place winners here. Yoshi Valley! Yoshi Valley! Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is unfortunately far too long to play. So let's go with it. Yoshi Valley! Yoshi Valley! Yoshi Valley! Let's go with Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road, go for it. Rainbow Road, Rainbow Road, Rainbow Road, Rainbow Road, Rainbow Road, Rainbow Road, Derby takes an early lead here. Oh, Derby's falling off the line. Derby, where are you going? Tracy taking the lead here. Blackout. That's going to be devastating. Derpy's back on the track. Sl slip and sliding. That's okay. Derpy's gonna get some good items and maybe pull it back. Watch out for the chain chop. Watch out for the chain chop. Here we are, here we are. This track is crazy. We've got bananas, but we've got a golden cupcake. Uh, a blue cupcake. A jam cupcake. That's a lot of, that's a lot of banana peels on the track there. Another chain chop. 
That's a good, that was a good use of the blue cupcake. It's not too far between now. And Trixie takes a bite from the chain chomp. As you can see, the constellations in the night sky, all the cutie marks. And I think I just saw a ghost where like more that. Oh, dropping a fake item box amongst the real ones. That is mean. Here we are, Trixie with a big jump there. Oh, but that's the fake one! No! What absolute deception! With another blue cupcake, Deppy is going to hopefully try and make up this gap. Don't get in the way of dirty blue cupcakes. That's the lesson I've learned from Pony Car. <laughs> There we go, we're going up the final spiral before the second lap. There's another chain chomp. Oh, oh, another fake crystal! Oh, but there we are! The Alicorn amulet has been used against Trixie. War term event. Oh, you know, could you imagine if Rainbow Road didn't have those rails on, like, uh, like Choco Mountain? I think we'd see a lot of space men. Now. Was that what I think I just saw? Yeah. Was that? Yeah. It's a crashing bomb, but also following not far behind is the blue shell! Oh, Always yeah. finding its target. That person in first place, never gonna be able to avoid that. Oh, red shell straight into the barriers. Let's see here. Debut with bananas. Not super useful, but the gap is not that far apart. Oh, hopping over the banana, Trixie! Oh, another banana causing Derby to miss the item boxes there. Item boxes are all important, especially when it's this close. And then we have another Alicorn Amulet! Come on, Dan. Could this be the catch-up moment that Derby's been asking for? It is so close. You can see those two icons. Really close. Green shells at the ready. Trying to get that drift around the corner. Oh, and it's the chain charm! Yeah, for the chain charm. It's catching up. Oh, and it's another blue muffin from Derby. Now you have to be really careful. You don't want to hit yourself with these. Oh, and... Hey, dude. I can see the blue oh. are going to be a right nuisance for Derby. And it's a big jump. Does, she, does Derby land it? She does! Trixie, Trixie is just holding on to that blue shell with dear life. She knows if she lets go, boom, right back at her. And there we go, we've got some red shells. Will those make the difference? Oh, into the barrier. Into the barrier. These red shells are just betraying you, Derpy. It's another element, the uh, Alicorn Amulet. There we go. Derpy with some more boxes here. Some muffins. Can muffins make the difference? Oh, there's a change up. Narrowly avoided. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Some red shells. These are going to need to be used on, the, on a nice straight path, otherwise I think we might just see them go into the barriers. This is crazy. Oh, and an element of magic. Is this enough? Is this enough to turn over take? That is not too far behind the catching is up! It's the comeback of another! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! 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 Come on!
Come on, anything but that. Right there. Honestly, that was intense. So very close and so very... Just tense, that's the best word I could use for it. For fourth place in such a valiant effort, I award you the fourth place in great Pony Cup Charity. Yay. For you, Asin Applejack, you have taken third place. Congratulations. Yay. And Alex too. Top two contenders and honestly, the best race I have seen this entire convention. Second place, black and blue, congratulations. And finally, not only do you get your trophy, but a lovely piece of artwork was also commissioned by one of our art staff. So here, take your trophy, your first place trophy. And this absolutely stunning, you may have seen it on the Discord, of Applejack and Britannia racing. That is yours. You get a lovely piece of art. Let's give it up for our racers and our big cheer for our first place winner, Nick! Thank you so, so much for taking part and enjoying the rainbow. I hope you um, I want to thank our wonderful musicians that were both on main stage in LT1 last night. <laughs> thank you for rocking the party. I also really want to thank our stall holders. For just amazing stalls, I managed to find Baby Leafy. I'm very happy about that. I'd really like screen. to thank all our amazing contributors that have contributed to the convention by running a panel or an activity. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. As eventually, like honestly, I had a record number of events applications this year, and I had so many technical difficulties with my email. So thank you for putting up with me through that. I'd also really like to thank our convention artists. Um, thank you for all the amazing artwork that you'll see. Um, we've got quite a bit. Um, all your merchandise, the comm badges, so much. Um, I want to thank our lovely volunteers. Again, record amount of volunteers this year. And I really, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate every one of you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for giving it your time to help us bring this convention. We're so honoured that you came with us. Um, I also really want to add a thank you to our main stage crew as well. They've been solid. They've been absolutely amazing. And who is from the stage? Come on! Come on! Come on. So, this, this main stage with the screen, all the technology was only made possible through Moomin's determination. So, if anyone, if, if you really like it, it means we couldn't uh, bully the treasurer next year as well. Being your event? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, yes uh, I think I'm going to leave our uh, staff till after I've announced something. I'll, I'll leave it till last. Because um, I also want to thank you. Again, we can't do PonyCon without you. Um, we, I can't believe we sold our tickets this year, it's our biggest one this year, it's incredible, Matt nice will be here with the figures sometime, and I just, I'm absolutely flabbergasted, thank you for celebrating such a wonderful, wonderful anniversary with us. to the creators of the International My Little Pony Convention. Um, thank you, we, we wouldn't be here without you. Um, all that hard work was determined 20 years ago and we're still here. I want to thank you to everyone that's attended every single pony con as well. I, I can't believe I've met so, so many. Everyone goes, oh, there's only a few of us. I think that's incredible for 20 years. Um, I also really want to announce something very, very staggering. Um, I feel a bit sick actually about it. It's good, it's good, it's very good. Um, you know how we kind of do a lot of things for the RDA and we do a little like charity auction, little tombola, little gold and silver tickets having do and bronze having donations. And it started adding up. And we and I just chiefly went to the treasurer and like, 
we're so close to a very special number. And our treasurer was like, all right then. So we're going to top up the difference. And I'm proud to announce we've got goose pimples. We have raised £20,000 for the wow. And I, myself and Maz had the privilege of going to the national championships with the RDA and it was truly phenomenal. So thank you. Um, thank you everyone. Just honestly, thank you so much. Um, I, um, are they, do they want to come and say something? Yeah. I mean, do the special guests? Yeah? yeah? I think, should we have the special guests up to come and say yeah. a little bit? Yeah. to these events and uh, I just, my cup is so full. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for uh, welcoming me. Thank you so much for spending time with me, making me laugh. So many of you were so funny and, and happy giggling uh, and I really appreciate it. I really do, from the bottom of my heart, love you all and appreciate you all so much. Um, pip, pip, hooray! Pip, pip, hooray! Yeah. A subway skateboard. A subway skateboard. Oh, the sub. The skateboard's a sub. The skateboard's uh, a sub. KLC, if you're here, this is your yeah. KLC over there just drew it and sent it straight over. Unbelievable. Like, I told you. Like, yeah. But <laughs> it's been like ten, ten of them. Like thank you all. It's just been fantastic. You're all so talented and lovely, and I am so grateful. Okay. Have a great rest of your con. <laughs> Final Rob, Lightning Pitch, Fowling Cortez, and DC. And who am I missing? Pam. Oh, Ember. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the recent chat, and Ember, because it's given most your time to the convention wasn't enough for you. So that, a huge round of applause to our gold sponsors. Thank you so much. It's always one. I think 180 odd silver sponsors. So I'm really sorry I can't do a whole a whole list of silver sponsors. But again, big round of applause for our silver and bronze sponsors as well. Um, but I I'm I'm ready for a 21st. Um, I've been told Maz can't make it, so I don't know the exact figure. But there's over 1,300 tickets sold, which is incredible. Oh, oh have, you, have you got the bar? Have you got the bar? Oh, have you got the bar? I haven't got it to hand. One, one, three, seven, one. Oh. Um, that total, so that includes store owners, that includes ourselves, because we still go for and get our ticket on the store, but how incredible. Do we go for a bit bigger next year? Yeah! Um, I also want to reflect back on saying £20,000 to the RDA in our 20th year. What, what, a, what a phenomenal thing to do. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the RDA's email and I'm sure we're going to help so many, so many people. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is our team. We, I'll be honest, we've dedicated a lot of evenings, a lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of I'm on mute because I'm eating really loudly, <laughs> sort of things. Um, and thank you. Thank you to this whole team. <laughs> we really yeah. yeah. So, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, 
And it's always a pleasure. Absolutely always a pleasure. Even you, Amber. Ah. Um, it's okay. And I just also really want to say, stall holders. Got any stall holders here? Has a metaphor knocked it out the park this year? I really, really, really... You don't get enough credit. You're all in the background. So can we just have a round of applause for med uh, metaphor? Absolutely. <laughs> Sure that you got the applause you deserve. Thank you. Aww. I mean, all of us deserve the applause, but I really, really want it to deserve a special mention. I think we are all very much forgetting one very important person in this room, on this stage, in fact, that we all need to thank. There's only slightly smell of it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think we should have a huge, yes. heckin' round of applause for Betsy. <laughs> So that's the end of this vlog of UK PonyCon 2024, by far one of the best PonyCons I've had in any year, honestly. I want to thank everyone at the PonyCon who's been so nice to me and generous, honestly. I've, I, I couldn't have been there without you lot. It's, it's been a, an absolutely amazing weekend for me, I've really, really enjoyed it. And also, the total I've spent at UK PonyCon is an unbelievable... £863. Literally, that's how much I've spent on these products in UK PonyCon. £863. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> my poor bank account. Oh my gosh. Right now, there's only about 16 quid left in there. But there is some stuff in the savings as well, but I try not to touch that money. But yeah, literally, this includes the cherry auction, the plushies that ordered that went from the cherry auction, the lanyards, the... Honestly, anything, everything else there, literally, all costed me £863. Like, that's so so much money. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do if I can get a computer now? I've got to freaking wait another few more months. Oh, don't, don't, just don't forget. I've got to freaking pay money for Festival of Friendship and and the hotels there as well, which is also because of a fucking fortune. Oh, my gosh. Literally, <laughs> what am I going to do with myself? But anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching this vlog. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you guys appreciate the time and effort I put into putting this together because this normally does take a lot of time. Awful broken. <laughs> and yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I've witnessed in PonyCon because I sure did myself. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye. Peace out. And think for yourselves. <laughs>